I'm Dr. Corey, I'm here with Naziha, and we're sitting here with our yeah. son Rafi, who okay. came into our office and he was diagnosed with autism. So I'm going to turn the uh, camera over to Naziha, and I'd like her to tell you her story and the progress that we've made with Rafi with his autism and the field control therapy that we do here in the office. Naziha, if you can just tell the audience a little bit about how Rafi was when he came to see us versus uh, progress that you've seen up to date. Um, he was diagnosed. Uh, like a severe case, and um, he was actually moved when we came to you. And you targeted all the specific areas he was, uh, in, I mean, he was weak with, and uh, you detoxed, and you do wonderful stuff. And I think FCD brought a big change in him, and he's actually verbal now. He, he has learned his ABCs, he's writing them, and he's, he learned one, two, three, and he's saying quite many few words. And he's doing amazing now, and I can't think about it without going FCT. I mean, he's doing such a great progress. And one thing in the world I was thinking, I mean, I thought about him, but yeah, I mean, FCT really worked. Was there any other improvement with any of the medical interventions that you went, uh, that you undertook in the process of doing FCT? Or was it, do you attribute the benefits just to the FCT itself? Nothing really. Um, I got him checked with everything, with the genetics, with the neurologist, with the metabolics, since he had you know, tuberous stenosis. And the last time I went to the doctor, the pediatric neurologist, he said it's not progressing. He's stable. He's, I mean, he's still on the same dose when, I mean, he was like a year before. So he doesn't need any, you know, top of doors to make his body alkaline. So he's actually doing much, much better. So it's only SCD and it's done. Making some yes. made some dietary changes, uh, changes but yes. primarily detoxing what we've done. And, and Rafi is a completely different child than he was when we started seeing him. 